Hi guys, it's Chick Cooler I'm at, and today I want to talk about what my final views are on the NES Classic Edition. So I've had it for a while now, maybe a couple weeks, but I did manage to play most of these games. On the Super Nintendo, my SNES Classic, I still haven't played a lot of the games because they're more longer, you know, they have longer stories, but a lot of the NES Classic games, they're like little arcade games or little games you can play with your wife or your friends. They're really, really interesting and really kind of a different, I'd say, genre and different age group than the SNES Classic. So I want to say this one, the NES Classic, is really fun for multiplayer. The multiplayer on the NES Classic blows the SNES Classic away, in my opinion. Me and my wife have been playing this game system together hours a day it's amazing we played the SNES classic and we tried to get into Mario Kart together and a couple other games but it wasn't really fun because you know it's like there's like long things you have to go like do this do that do this do that you know you play an RPG game you know you have to put hours and hours and hours to it and it's not really fun if you're not a really gamer but uh, NES classic definitely extremely fun for even the casual gamers. Dr. Mario is amazing. If you like simple puzzle games, two-player Dr. Mario is awesome. You get two-player Dr. Mario, you can have fun, you're fighting, you know, you gotta win three games to win the thing. So you can get two, three, three, two, you know, one to three, or you're down two and you have to win three games to come back. You know, you can do it. Very fun. And then you got also Bubble Bobble. That's another game. I keep mixing that name, calling it Bubble Bobble or Bubble Bobble Bobble. But it's Bubble Bobble. It's an awesome two player game. You know, you're two little like dragons and you're fighting each other and you're trying to get the high score. Really, really awesome. For the single player experience though, again, a lot of these games are shorter. Like, you know, you got Excite Bike. You got a couple other games like Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. and Pac-Man, which might get boring after a little while, but you know they're fun for 10, 15 minutes. Maybe if you're into Excite Bike, you can you can make your own like your own tracks and you can race and you can save because of the save points, which is awesome. You can save, so you can make your Excite Bike track and save it, which is really good. But other than that, I would say that. There are some games on here that are longer, like Final Fantasy, Zelda, Super Mario 3, Castlevania, Ninja Gaiden. You know, you got some longer games, which are really, really, really fun. And, you know, you have to kind of think a little. But there are some games you just, like, shoot them up. You know, they're just really boom, 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 go, go, go. Playing for 20 minutes, maybe beat them, never playing again. But really interesting. And I am actually really fun. A really fun game in this is Punch-Out. I never played Super Punch-Out on my Super NES Classic, but I got into it on the NES Classic and I'm going to like go I'm going to go to my Super NES Classic and I'm going to play that. I'm going to play Super Punch-Out, but here I've been playing Punch-Out and I've been really enjoying it. I beat the first 3 4 guys and I get to the password, I write down the password. So I got the password, but after that, you know, it's really hard. Actually, without the instruction book, it's, it's really hard to play games, but you know, like Balloon Fight, we played that with my wife, awesome game. Bubble Bobble, played with my wife, awesome game. Castlevania, played it, awesome. Castlevania 2, haven't got to it. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., good games, but a little short. Double Dragon 2, The Revenge, awesome game. You know, fight him, punch him ups. Dr. Mario, me and my wife's favorite game so far. Playing together, playing hours and hours and hours together on that. Excite Bike, played it, made some courses, awesome game. Final Fantasy, Another RPG, maybe I'll get into it. Galaga, played it, awesome, little short. Ghosts and Goblins, extremely hard and extremely fun. Gratis, another one of those shoot 'em up games, it's fun. Ice Climber, awesome game, little hard. Controls, little bad, but really good if you get down the controls. Kid Icarus, haven't played it yet, gonna get to it. Kirby's Adventure, played it a little, it's really awesome, love the platformer. Mario Bros. Controls are a little sketchy, like the original, not too into Mario Bros. It's kind of short, you know, it's not the Super Mario's, it's the pow pow, jump jump. Mega Man 2, good shoot 'em up. 
Metroid, another awesome shoot 'em up. Ninja Gaiden, again, an awesome puncher. Pac Man, little, well, I wouldn't say short, but you know, a little attention span, like, it's gone, Pac Man. But it's a fun game. Punch Out featuring Mr. Dream, awesome. I'm getting into Punch Out, gonna get into Super Punch Out. Star Tropics, haven't played it yet. Super C, good shoot 'em up. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Bros. 3, you know, I played it when they first came out on the original NES, I've been playing them on this one, awesome games. Tech Mobile, had it for the Game Boy, have it for this, awesome game. I love playing football on this thing. It's weird that they didn't put hockey or soccer on this, but football, awesome. Or, I guess, yeah, football, or what would they call it in Europe, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Not football, the soccer, but football, the other one, I'm, everyone did. Legend of Zelda, awesome. The first time I ever played the original Legend of Zelda on this one. And Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure Link, haven't played it yet. Going to be getting into it soon. So, for the price tag, was it worth it? Yes. Are there some games on this that could have been switched out for other games? I'd say yes. Are there some perfect games on this? Yes. I'd say the classic Mario's, the classic Zelda's, Final Fantasy... All good games, all awesome. Some games could have been off of here, you know, maybe Blades of Steel could have been on here. I remember playing Blades of Steel, awesome, awesome game. Battletoads, awesome game, but I know Rare maybe made that game, so they can't put it on this. Some Ninja Turtle games, I know. The SNES had awesome Ninja Turtle games. I remember playing them at my cousin's house. But I know, I'm pretty sure there's some Turtle games on this, you know. So would I buy this again? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes, for the price tag, it is definitely worth it. You know, for under a hundred dollars, where are you going to get thirty classic games? And you know, you can for a hundred dollars, five dollars a game. Let's think about it: five dollars a game, right? It goes to five times whatever thirty, hundred and fifty dollars. So under five dollars a game, right? And it was under a hundred dollars too with the extra controller, and I bought it retail. They are still. Kind of hard to find. So I did buy the last one at the store where I live. But I think it might be where I live. I'll talk about a little bit. Where I live, there's only like big box stores that sell. And there's one little game store that are scattered around the city. But the second they get it at the game stores, they sell out. And the game stores, I think they do kind of up the prices a little bit. But the big stores, the second they come in, you know, someone will buy them. There's like, I'd say... Maybe three, four big stores that sell these. And they get four or five in. And the city where I live is like 300,000 people around there in the main area. But then there's like other little towns where people come here and they buy them up. So when they come into stock, they still sell up fast. So if you haven't picked up one of these yet, or if you're thinking about picking one up for your kid or your wife or your friends, definitely if they like arcade games and they like games that like two-player games that are short and fun, Definitely pick this up. I'd give it two thumbs up. Some games could have changed. You know, they could have put better games on there. You know, just in my opinion. But I played games that other people might not have played because I did have an NES. But really good overall classic system. What do you guys think of it? Leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Check a cola out. Annyeong.